I'm gonna start. I forgot to start recording from the last one. We won the first match of this league. YouTube. We played against Tron. So forgot to hit the record button. Nope, but I used to be good at this game, just getting back into it after like a decade away. Nice. Nice. A decade away. I imagine it probably looks a lot different than it did back then. Where are you, you going to play Boggles, Johnny? So this is here. Like, what am I supposed to do with hands like this? Like, am I supposed to go, like, vile on one? And then go, like... Meddling Mage Hierarch on two. Oh, I played a lot. I'm playing on Rhea. Nice. I think I'm going to keep this hand. We'll see what my opponent does here. I mean, this hand's obviously a keep, I think. But I just don't know how to sequence this. Bloodstained Mire. Are we playing against some Shadow? No. Playing Smartu, I think. Or Burn. Bio always first. Okay. Valley is great. Human. Where's your Beats Champ? This Valley is going to be pretty solid. Like, Thalia is very, like, underrated good against Burn. Because they just need to, like... Like, they're... they're I don't know how to say it. They, they need to, like, tempo out their spells. And now we're going to, like, make this thing cost one more. But we already get smacked around by this... Goblin here. What do we draw? Thalia's Lieutenant. Okay. So, yes. So, I could just meddling mage this Rift Bolt. Which I kind of like, honestly. Yeah, let's just meddling mage's rift bolt. Now they have to use a spell on my meddling mage in order to cast this. It's like they can't searing blaze this. Okay. So I think we'll take this. We're going down to eight. The question is, do I just do I flash in a noble to chump? I don't think I do. I got nobles. The nobles got better things to do. So how do I lose? Like, I think I'm gonna have such an explosive turn next turn where I go like Thalia into Thalia's lieutenant that I just want this game to last longer. And what is this noble hierarch doing? Like, next turn it attacks for two points of damage. And I think trading two points of damage with my opponent is fine. Okay, so what does that do? I can play Mantis Rider, and I kind of want to play Mantis Rider in Thalia. Or I could play Thalia, Noble Hierarch, Thalia. I think it's probably better to just jam the Mantis Rider. Especially considering we can get it out of damage right here. Get it out of, like, bolt range. Yeah, I definitely think it's okay to trade two damage, basically. Because, like, that, that's all my Noble Hierarch would do. Okay. So I kind of want a bigger... 
So I think I want to sequence Thalia, Thalia, Noble. Because I would like to have a bigger first striker. And this card doesn't matter. This card's just jump blocking. Yo, this RP is this is the RPTQ art here? This thing's hot. Uh, no, I would not like to do that. So how do I do this? Do, isn't there a way I can do this where I get both of them? Like I put this in the, I put this on the stack. I should do this right. Now I would rather have this Thalys Lieutenant bigger than my Noble Hierarch. So let's go like this. Then respond to the trigger. Flashing this in. Always yield. Always yield. Play this. Now we have a 3-2 first striker, which I'm pretty happy with. And they just scoop it up. Sweet. Putting on a clinic, dude. It takes me a while to get good with the deck. But once I get good with the deck, I think I think I'm I think I do D's. So Oriog Champion. That's what we're looking for. I don't think Sin Collector is that bad, right? Or, or it might just be too slow. I kind of like all the searing effects that I can get. Or all the ways to interact with searing effects, basically. Cards I'm not interested in. Probably the Bugler. Bugler's probably not great. Um... Phantasmal image is probably isn't great either. What does this look like? I think damping sphere is a little bit overzealous. They're huge. 87. I kind of want a fourth Thalia in this deck. The more I play with this deck, I think I just want Thalia guarding a Thraven. So is Phantasmal Image just better than Thalia? Or better than uh, Reflector Mage? This I could buy. Because this is weird where like both the lock pieces are pretty good and the aggressive pieces are pretty good. Let's try this. Let's try it. Uh. So when I looked at this hand, the first time I saw it, my gut told me to mulligan this hand because, and I don't know if this is right or not, but playing Noble Hierarch on the draw against a deck that has like 42 searing effects seems like a real bad way to lose, especially when I cannot block with these Thalys Lieutenants on turn two. But I don't know if that's right or not. Like if my Noble Hierarch lives, this hand's great. And maybe I've just got to like take that risk. And that's part of just being on the draw against burn. So I think I'm gonna like I'm gonna keep it, but like my, my gut told me this was not good enough. Because Okay, so that's nice they didn't play a creature. Okay. I should have taken a picture of that at least. The Freebooter was a nice pickup. You'll loot, scoot, and booty. Oh, that's 
So this thing's definitely getting searing blazed. Like 100%. All right, so let's get, should I name Illusion with this? Probably not, because I would like to cast Mantis Rider. Exactly, Teddy, like you, you just don't, wow. This meddling mage is gonna be hot. God, I'm gonna meddling mage this guy to the fucking moon. God, I hope I get to meddling mage this guy in the next Tuesday. No, now they get the destructor. So I'm not even going to cast this. Searing blood. Why take the Texas card? Those are two different things, bro. Why take the Texas card? Are you talking about, oh, because I was just going to searing blaze it, but I don't know. I didn't really think about it, Ben, to tell you the truth. Those are. They, they did kill it. And then they did kill it. Teddy, you're just like proving what's going on here. I don't really see how I win this game. Right, because they've got... Oh, no, I thought this was Searing Blood. Oh, my God, I thought they were just all Bloods. That's why I did this. I thought they were all Searing Bloods. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, I made a mistake here. I just looked at this, and I thought they were all Searing Bloods, which will explain it. So I guess I just play as Thalia to waste their whole turn, then hope that I hit. I guess I can actually play the Ether Vial because there's a chance that they can't. Um, there's a chance they can't, like, double spell to kill my creatures, kill my creature and this next turn. Actually, they just can't because it would unless they find a one mana removal spell. Yeah, I was looking at that, and I definitely thought that all of these were Searing Bloods. So, like, I messed this up here when I first saw this. <clears throat> Which is embarrassing. These Searing cards are, are pretty solid here. Maybe I shouldn't have even played this out. Like, it was just a pipe dream to think that I could actually get anything off of this. Rift Bolt. Uh, yeah, so I know they have... No, it's not bad. It's not good enough, but it's not, it's not bad. Take this. <coughs> yeah, I definitely, definitely messed that up. But that happens. Yeah, get a bolt, no bolt. Nice. 
the comeback. My opponent actually dead next turn. My opponent's actually dead. If they miss, they're dead next turn. Which would be impressive. Wow. This is actually going to work. Hang on. So 3, 6, 3, 9. All right, whatever. We're just going to cast all of our stuff. We're just dead to everything, no matter what we do here, I think. <clears throat> Could have a path. Path would make sense. This long pause makes me think we have won the match. I wish I was cool. I wish I was cool enough to play a human's debt deck. Guys, I am a dirty net decker. I am a dirty net decker, according to my opponent. Oh, Moto's tweaking out. Hang on, I'm gonna restart Moto. Let me pull this up here. <laughs> he then called me a garbage can. Oh my gosh. Does this mean I've made it? If somebody, literally somebody called me a dirty net decker and a garbage can. Like I've been called, I've been called a lot of things playing this game, play in, in my life. But I don't think, is this over here? Like what, what are we doing, Moto? I've been called a lot of things here. <laughs> I think I've made it. <laughs> oh, man, I've made it. That's great. Oh man, that's great. I just made my night. No, because it's not, this is Moto's problem that it's not worth reporting. It's not worth my time to report him. And he keeps assaulting off. It's not like he called me an asshole or a tool or something like that. You know, I've definitely dealt with a lot more abuse on Moto than that. Oh, uh, it's getting slow. I feel like I can find a better six. This hand's just really slow. I don't know what my opponent's playing. I would like to I would like to have something a little faster. This hand's faster. Um we have a... I don't think we want this land. It might be greedy. So I got first FM with Shadow, and I was told by both my Bogles opponents and my Burn opponent that they were unlucky. They had to play their worst matchup. They said I was not unlucky. I got a free round. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know what that means. So I don't think we can beat this matchup. Right? Isn't this deck a very good against humans? So wait, what are you saying here? Um, I was 
first in my F and M. I think I think you under I think you overestimate Boggles or underestimate the Boggles or I think you are not exactly right on the Boggles matchup, Teddy. I don't think it's that bad, especially if you play any number of engineers engineered explosives in your deck. I really don't think it's that bad. Us. This turned out very poorly for us. I go to look away to argue at Teddy, and then I come back and, like, this is what I see. Yeah, dude, we're going we're gonna to send that vial right up there. Do I image this Venge Vine? I think I do. That bench vine is on blocking duty, baby. I think they were, don't know what good and bad matchups are. I think Burn is like, if you, like, Burn is really hard to play against, but I think Burn is favored. Oh, dude, we're definitely dead here now. Block this, take two, four, don't we take four? They just keep doing their thing. I don't think we can beat this. <clears throat> That's why this deck is good, right? I just hope they can't do it two games. They get more bridges. Yeah, let's just let's just scoop it up here. Let's go to the next one. Let's go to the next one, everybody. Yeah, I think a lot of, well, so a lot of people don't like playing against Death Shadow because there's two things that they don't like. Also, this card's good. I mean, kind of. I think I'm going to board in Static Caster because if I ever get to copy a Static Caster, it's very good. These cards don't seem good. Gut shot doesn't seem good. Bugler seems better than Reflector Mage. <laughs> How are you doing, Noah? I feel it's good when they attack into their color into your reach bottle. Yes, I would assume. No, there's a lot of people... There's two things that people don't like in Magic. It's getting their stuff countered and getting their cards discarded. And Death Shadow does both of those, so it's it's very much, like, not very much fun to play against, I think. All right, so here's the plan. We're going to Oriok Champion. We're going to copy our Oriok Champion. Change your Twitter to at, the at Garbage Can Neck Decker. I should. Ooh, that's a good point, Gray Shot. Yeah, I should have done that. You're right. You are very right, sir. Oh, yeah, he went. No, you are super right, sir. The gut shot my own thing. That makes sense. It's good. Look at that. We got big brain gray shot in the chat. No, oh, Brady Ergon. All right, we're just going to make like 42 Oriok champions. We're going to hope that that does it. And we're going to fly over the top of Mantis Rider. We probably don't need to make all the, all of these Oriok champions. We probably can just like hold the ground and then fly. I uh, don't block. No blocks. I think you should be playing Serum Visions for sure. All right, we're just gonna like. Oh, this was such a mistake from me. Oh, this was such a mistake. I guess I couldn't cast Mantis Rider anyways because of how my mana was set up. So I need to draw another land. So I might as well just go with Illusion. Cut 
copy this. Copy this thing. Always yield. We should be good now. Uh, always yes. God, humans has so many triggers, it's so annoying. We're just not going to block this Stitcher Supplier either. You should play Bobble, Teddy. You really should play Bobble. I think I think you would you would be pleasantly surprised by how much that enables your your delve draws. But then just having free shit is great. Look at that, dude. I gained two life. Always yes. Yeah, always yes. Why can't I... Yeah, sure. I'll, I'll, I'll post it here in a hot second. Oh, Teddy. Oh, Teddy. Ooh, Ballista works. Dude, always yes. Why is why does nothing go always yes? God, I hate you, Moto. Yeah, we're just gonna not block. Need a need another land. All right, well, I guess we just go like this. He then pops one of these. And then I probably image, I don't know what I image. Because I don't want them to, I don't want the black creature to um, mill over more bridges. Wow, he didn't, he's got to respond to this, right? Yeah, it's a die trigger. Oh, God, I hate how this stupid thing just does this. <clears throat> Might just copy another Thalia's Lieutenant after this. Yeah, that was the only reason why we didn't block it, because it just didn't want to enable their good draws. Lightning Axe. Addition of Vendrine. Definitely needed one more land. I want to cast this Mantis Rider. Blood Gas, okay. God, always yes. Damn it. I think second Oriok is greater than Lieutenant. Well, we can do that now. We're taking a lot of damage here. Couldn't kick it, though, which is nice. Well, now I want to play a lieutenant. Because I drew a champion. Because it also makes this thing bigger, and they can't block this thing effectively. God, there's so many triggers. There's so many clicks. I'm gonna have like a I'm gonna have like a freak out here. Always yes. There we go. Nice job, Moto. <clears throat> A 
Proveren. Now, if we ever find a way to play this Mantis Rider, we should be in good shape. Just not going to block that thing. You can stitch on in here, boy. Alright. I should have tapped a different land. Yeah, exactly. Oh, man, those little sequencing things just get you. I'm just going to hold back. I'm not really interested. Like, now that we have the ground basically completely sewed up, I'm just going to play this Mantis Rider just and win this game. Not going to block this Ditcher Supplier. I don't even think I want to block either of those. All right, so let's go blue, red, God. I wish there was a way to deal with this easier here. This is just crazy. Always yield. And we go human. We're good. We're good. So I think I still just serve with the Mantis Rider. Because, like, there's nothing my opponent can do on the ground that matters at all. And we're just going to fly in the air and kill them. I don't want to, like, have them block with this Hangerback Walker. And then get screwed. So this is the downside of this deck. How often this happens determines how good this deck is. Because it's obviously extremely explosive. Okay, so Greater Gargadon is, is big, but it doesn't do anything because the Oriok Champion just brick walls it. So I'm just going to attack with my Flyers and pass and just keep on doing that. I don't know what they're going to have here, but I am going to block. Yes, Vicer C or Hanging Rack Walker would be annoying. Then you have Sack Sack, probably. All right, scoop it up. Uh, I think we just keep it and then hope. No, we want the gut shots. Whoever said that in chat, I cannot remember, is is brilliant because that is a very good idea. Thirty power on board one time, Teddy. I think you're in this chat to root against me. I really think you are. I don't think you're here for anything productive. I think you're here just to like, just to get me. So I'm going to keep this hand. And I, I don't think it's great, but I want to keep this hand in order to try it out. Because there is a chance that like, is it Staticaster? Copy, is it Staticaster? Like just does really well against all the zombies. I don't really care if I lose. We're just going to try this out here. Are we all rooting against you? See, Nilla knows. He's honest. I can appreciate that. There's nothing like a good, honest guy. Thalia is the brick wall here, though. For sure. Two Thalia is awkward. 
Maybe I should have boarded out some Talia's. I'm not sure. Do you want to block this gray crawler like nobody's business? I'll grab another beer. I'll be right back. I'm somewhat helpful sometimes. You can be somewhat helpful and still look for the good trolls. God, dude. If if two is good, three is great. One of my friends, one of my favorite fucking friends at streams, all right, the only reason, my favorite, or, or not the only reason, my favorite part of his stream is that he loses in the most fantastic ways that you could ever imagine. Like, he loses so well. Like, he doesn't just average lose. Like, he loses extraordinarily. Exactly, dude. You guys are good people. That's annoying. We're actually just going to flash this in, then gut shot this on our turn. That's not bad. Okay. Then we're going to shoot this thing. Oh, red. I need to do this right, so I need to make sure to not, like... So let's shoot this first, see what my opponent does. Oh, shoot. I should have just blocked here and done this. This is a mistake. I forgot I tapped it. I messed this up. I could have saved myself one point of damage. So if we lose by one, I'm going to be sad. Ooh, they shoot their citrus supplier. It's kind of a big brain move. So now I think we just go Phantasmal Image Thalia. Human. Copy this. And go like this. No, we're not going to attack. I should do this right now, though, before my opponent can, like, put a bridge in the graveyard. Pew, pew. I feel like I'm like a, like a six-shooter. I do really like the angle of gut-shotting our own thing, whoever said that in the chat. I, I'm not impressed with this deck, to be honest. Like... I feel like I kept a pretty poor six cards. Human, 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 human. All right, so let's go. Let's tap all these. So blue. I feel like I kept a pretty poor seven, like on purpose to just do some learning. And like my opponent didn't punish me for it. But if you're just like a degenerate deck and your opponent keeps a loose seven and you don't punish them for it, I think like, like what are you doing? You know, like, like your deck, how consistent is your deck? Ballista. Okay. Joke's on you, dude. I got another Thalia. Oh, I didn't didn't sack my thing of jigger thing of jigger. Whatever. We'll do it now. We are drawing well. I should leave open a white land. Or a non ancient ziggurat land. Just so that I can pay for this gut shot. <clears throat> I appreciate everybody hanging out tonight. It's been fun. It's been a fun stream. We played we played kind of a funny funny meme deck to start. That wasn't necessarily my speed. 
you know, loot, scoot, and booty. Now we're playing some playing some real magic. Vengevine. Gravecrawler. That gets back another Gravecrawler. Gets back Vengevine. We got him. Can we just cue in the chat the song, like the Bon Jovi Sean, like, shot through the heart. And you're to blame, darling. You give love a bad name. Just attack. Go let him know. Go let him know we still had it. See, I'm not impressed with this deck. Like, I'm sure that this deck destroys a certain amount of the metagame, but like, Come on, I kept a really loose seven, and you didn't punish me? All right, I'm going to run to the bathroom. I'll be right back. Their chat. All right, playing in the match. We're three zero. Holy shit, guys! If we five zero this league as a dirty net decker. It's gonna be wild. It is going to be wild. Just saying. If we 5 a league and have a bunch of stream beers, I really don't see how life gets any better. Isn't that just like like it's right there? We might as well just we might as well just end it. Game's over. It's not getting any better. We should just accept it. Like this is life. This is the pinnacle. I haven't done one of these in a little while, so let's go. Uh, I appreciate everybody for showing up and hanging out. My name's Dylan Hovey. I'm part of the Card Hoarder Network. Um, if you guys need magic online needs, you should check out Card Hoarder. They are the best bot chain in the business. I, I, you know, they're great. They enable my streaming. They enable a bunch of other people's streaming. They have a pro team. They have a podcast. Their last episode is going to be next week, which is sad, but y'all should check it out. It's the end of it. They have over like 100, I don't know how many episodes, a lot of them. But Card Horror is great. You should check me out on YouTube. If you're on YouTube now, you should check me out on Twitch. All that stuff is linked below, no matter which site you're at. Um... If you want to see people call me mean names like a filthy net decker, you should check me out on Twitter. I love talking about magic, anything, modern, legacies. I actually really like all of the formats. If I had more time, I would play way more of all the formats. Um, and uh, if you have single needs, you should check out Gamer Craze. Their Crystal Commerce is linked below. They're a store in upstate New York where I learned to play magic. They're just a great store, a bunch of great people. So I appreciate everybody for showing up tonight. It's been a fun stream. It's been a fun stream. I will play first. Yes. Uh, sounds very good. I think we go. 
vile vile into champion kite sail freebooter I think I think that's the plan Deck has been impress impressive. Yeah, I do I do like I do like what it does. <clears throat> Second vial is kind of a blank, but you know you can't always have it all. Noble hierarch. Okay. Yes, I would like to use ether vial's ability. I'd like to tap my ether vial. I took a nap today, so I kind of I kind of might have another league in me. Maybe I'll play some Death Shadow after this. I do feel I do feel awake. I feel alive. Alright, so we don't take any of these cards, unfortunately. Well we take the company, I guess. I missed that one. So we're gonna reflector mage this. Maybe we might reflector mage this noble hierarch here. On our third turn. All right, we're gonna reflect Mage Knight of the Rail Clary. We draw land. Let's draw land. Best idea you've had all night. I probably should have viled in response to that. I'm very poor at that. Yeah. So we're just gonna get in here with our champion. And then play another vial. Seem being helpful. Teddy, you are very helpful. Let me tell you what. I also don't have anything going on at work tomorrow. I'm just taking like a really boring training. The problem is I only have two more stream beers. And this this is sad. It's really sad, chat. Send a message. No. We had to do it just, just in case. So now we play Ronus. We reflector mage the Ronus, then crack in for like 42 points of damage. I think I want to play my version of the deck without Faithless Living tonight. It's pretty happy with it. Didn't like. And I could be biased. Like, I played against two matchups today where Faithless Looting was not good. I'd like to put a counter on this. If I could guarantee myself that I was never going to play against a fair deck in the world, I would play Faithless Looting. For sure. Excuse me. Yes. Send this night pack in. Get in my face. This Ronus is going to be pretty annoying. I'm fairly certain. Like I don't think I'm gonna win. And I think I think it's honestly gonna be because of this Ronus. I might find a bunch of like a bunch of, I don't know, ways to deal with this thing. Like I might might find more Phantasma Mages or Reflector Mages, but I don't I don't think I'm gonna win this. If I had to guess. YOLO. Send it in with a hierarchy for no real reason. So now we've done enough damage on the ground where we could just win in the air. Like, 
three, three, three. Okay, company, are we just gonna township and township and jam? So what is this thing? Do? Death touch, indestructible. Ballista, that's bad. That is really bad. He should do he should activate his ballista like right now. That's sick. Let's go inside of my combat. That's just like a two-turn clock. That is a stone cold nutter butters, baby. Flash this in. Then I think I just send it with everybody. So what is he going to do? He's going to, so if I attack, blocks here. So yeah, I think I'm just going to go in with everybody here. I just hope they don't kill me next turn. Wow, he didn't even shoot my duder. All right. These. I haven't checked my follows in a little while here. We have had a lot of follows tonight. Y'all are killing me. Y'all are killing me. Yeah, they just scoop it up. So they didn't get their company back. If y'all are watching the stream and don't don't follow it, you should. I would appreciate it. I'm gonna bring these gut shots to smoke a noble hierarch. I think I think the bugle boy is decent here. I think Thalia is not great. So if they're a walking ballista deck, they've only got like one, right? So I think I I, I don't know. I really like Phantasmal Image. Um. Meddling Mage is okay, I guess. I, I'm kind of into Reflector Mage a little bit more. I have too many cards. Maybe Phantasmal. Maybe like Kite Sail Freebooter and yeah. Well, I'm gonna I'm gonna cut the Meddling Mages because Meddling Mage doesn't do anything. It just sits there, names collect a company, and just like chills. At least Freebooter attacks. I don't know. I would maybe gut shots like too cute. Maybe there's too much. Yeah, I'm gonna go with gut shot too cute. You only asked for a thousand. We delivered and then we stopped. Now I ask for two thousand, and I will open more treasure chests. Who's on that Nexus of Fate deck from the Pro Tour? I guess that Nexus of Fate deck is like, I guess it won something like 80% of its matches. Heater. Uh, so I have a curve. I'm going to keep this hand. God, we can't lose. I think I'm going to play the Vial on one, too. Mage is great with Reflector. Okay. All right, Magic Hero. That makes sense. No, what's going on here? Human. So if I unfollow, then follow, does that count? Yes. Just keep doing it. Keep clicking it, Teddy. Just like keep doing it. Keep doing it, sir. Magic Hero, how are you doing there, sir? Oh, what is this? They didn't attack? What can they do for three mana? Maybe like Cord for one? Yeah, I'm just going to name Collected Company. With, the, with my meddling mage. Oh, we're going to smack our opponent next turn.
No way, are we getting spell caller? I should have sniffed that out. Oh, that's such a loser move from me. That is so loose. I should have sniffed that out. Yeah, dude. I'm all about asking the people that, that hang out in here from, from time to time. I should have sniffed that out, though. Like, yeah, that was loose. Loosey goosey. All right, so let's take this up. Huh. 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 I think we're going to wait on the Reflector Mage. I think we're just going to cast this. No, shoot, shoot, shoot. Blue. Blue. Red. White. There, Coco. Okay, okay. You got it. Nice. Four mana, Mega Dust Watch Recruiter. Get in here. Crack you for eight. <clears throat> then we just Reflector Mage, just Meddling Mage. Probably name like. Collecting Company or Devoted Druid. If my opponent keeps mana up, I'm probably going to name Devoted Druid. Okay. Alright, so let's do some let's do some big brain moves here. They're going to pass. What a tool. I think I'm going to reflect your mage is neither reliquary. This card just doesn't. This card just doesn't matter. I don't think. I think this card matters. So let's go up. Yes. Whoa. I might just like do it. Yeah. Let's send it. Get this thing out of here. Nope, don't <laughs> don't leave the ancient ziggurat. This deck is these. Oh, is he old? And then we smack. God, I hope they're typing that I'm a net decker. So they have to jump. Confirmed. They have to jump a lot next turn. <clears throat> Pause in their draw step. They hit a miracle. They're going to terminus me. Why do they have a pause in their draw step? They're just looking to terminus me. What is this? What is this shenanigans? What is this bullshit? How's the chat doing tonight? All right, nice. So we have the 4 0. I'm going to grab another beer and then we're going to go for 5 0. We're going to get it. Draw step pauses on the bait. Exactly. When somebody pauses in their draw step, I'm like, dude, come on. Like, come on. Even like when people play with a Vendillion click, like, I think a lot of people are just like, a lot of people are 
they play with their click and they're like, we have to do it in their draw step. And it's often just so wrong to do that. I have a, I have excess like excessive pauses, I think. And I don't even put one in the draw step. You know what I want to do in the next couple days here? I would like to stream a Nexus of Fate deck. Because, like, it won fucking 80% of its magic, it was matches at the Pro Tour. Like, that has got to be, got to be insane. Eighty percent of the pro tour, like it's like that's all Drazi numbers. I'm not sure it's, it's not just that card, but like the fact that you can play it with Karn and Teferi is very good as well. All right, Heater, kind of. Oh, we're playing against a creature deck. What do you think if it runs or playing against Tron? So I think we lead on champion for playing against Tron. Then we just play like Vile Noble next turn. Well, you think so like I've been like looking into that deck. Because my, my friend plays red black. You would think red black would do pretty well against that deck. I still think I go noble vile. Here. Oh, it just is more damage, so we could get Tron here, which would be sad. I'll re-yield. Crack for three. My opponent Karns me. Actually, we can kill a Karn, which is kind of cool. Yeah, but uh, so my friend plays Red Black, and he's going to a couple GPs. And I, I would think Red Black is very good against that, de that deck. Like, you get enough... Um, you probably need to up your duresses and doomfalls. Maybe play more lightning strikes. I don't know. But that, that deck did look impressive. So we are trotting. We are carning. We're going up with the carn. What are we doing? Okay. Um, you can have a reflector mage. I don't even think we're going to go. We're going to try to kill this Karn. I think we're just going to go like right at our opponent. Because like we're not really beating much else here. Attack them, attack them. Question is, are we playing this land? I think we are, because I doubt they're going to... They're probably going to target that champion next turn. It might be loose not attacking Karn, but like whatever. I mean, Teferi is just sick. Teferi is an awesome magic card. I would like to play more with Teferi. I play with it in Jeskai from time to time. I really should play the blue-white control deck. They're going down on this. Okay. 
Did I did I miss one, Teddy? Did I sequence poorly? Like if I were gone. What are you for five mana? What are you doing? Ballista. Okay. Yeah, we're good. We're good here. I yield. It's better to just start with champion. Okay, yeah, yeah. I need to, I need to get used to that. I made that mistake a couple times tonight. I made I made the mistake of like when to go just even super more all in on the champion. I don't really remember how I boarded against this deck. I brought in the wet ball and I brought in this. And I think I cut the bugle the buglers. I think I went like this. Kinda having a honeymoon Teferi right now. Yeah, I mean Teferi's sweet. I, I played that card in modern. I don't even play Jeskai very much, and I just picked up Rossum's deck. The problem is that Rexage only hits. Like what what is Rexage better than? Reflector Mage, maybe? The slippery boys. I could go like this. But I like Reflector Mage a lot. I don't really know what else I would sideboard out. Like, Ref like Reclamation Sage only hits O Stone, right? If it hits, if it hits Worm Coil Engine, it doesn't really matter. Johnny's been liking that Boggles deck. I think Boggles is really good. I think, <clears throat> I think you have to if you decide like the hard part of playing Boggles. And Johnny is my boy. Is that Johnny tends to get... That seems kind of narrow, Magic Hero. It takes care of O-Stone, but one of them takes care of uh, Worm Coil Engine, right? Um, we just got to make sure that, like... Because Bogles plays a lot of non-games <clears throat> that can be pretty frustrating. So I hope that Johnny doesn't get frustrated by that. Because sometimes you just bubble out and it doesn't work, you know? Yeah. This is one of those we're going to name. We're going to, like, play Champion, play Noble, then play this and name O-Stone, and play the Wet Ball. Oh, shoot. I do find it hilarious that... Um, Jeff Hoogan calls it the wet ball. I think that's really funny. Because <laughs> it is a wet ball. The damp, dampening sphere. All right. One drop. All right, we are going to be mana efficient. Cracking in. Are you talking about naming nature's claims so they don't gain life? Is that what we're talking about here? I, I kind of want to name O-Stone, right? Because Ulamog's bad. Or not Ulamog. Ugin, like, we can't beat Ugin, but they only play, like, two Ugins. To protect your okay, wait. To protect your that I have in mana. Oh, okay, okay. It's a big brain move. So we're not gonna have Tron next turn. Gut shot. Okay. Gut shot's a big game. I kind of so noble noble is seven damage. That's lethal next turn. So we're just gonna cast two nobles. We're gonna hope our opponent just doesn't have it. I think so. Hang on, wait one second. Let's be let's 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 think here. So if I take for five, they go to ten, and then I play. 
the wet ball here. Because what happens if they just have the Tron piece? The problem is if they just have the Tron piece, they're just going to name Karn, right? They're going to play Karn or Worm Coil Engine. I'm just going to play the Sphere. Because this is 5. This is... They go to 10. This is 6. Next turn it is 6 damage, 7 damage, 8 damage. I, I think we're just going to play... We're going to play it safe here. Crackling Doomed in game one. Nice. Crackling Doom. That's great. Not gonna lie. Twitter brought me here. Twitter is great, dude. Twitter is hilarious. <sighs> Playing Boggles Kappa. I was I was picked on from my burn opponent because I was playing stock humans. Therefore I am a dirty net decker. Nice. It's good to know. Social media is, is, is important, especially if you want to stream. I enjoy streaming. It is very fun. I like streaming. I like... I like streaming competitive decks, I guess. Yeah, exactly. It was just straight up like 20, 20, like 20 lands, 12 creatures, 28 burn spells burn against humans. Yeah, burns like... Like, what do you do? You fluctuate like six, like, like, th like two or three main deck slots and burn. We're fishing here. That costs next spell costs two. I'd like you to know. Oh, actually, I, ca I can't. No, 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 I can, I can, I can. All right, you can't crack it. You can't. What? What? Urza's Tower. Okay. Tilt. So we can't. So now we just go meddling mage. Maybe we don't even play. Do we even play our noble hierarch? We're gonna name Oblivion Stone. Do we need Oblivion Stone? So what are we doing? We're cracking for five, six here. Yeah, let's just name it Living Stone. I guess... I guess we just go for it here. Because if my opponent plays a Worm Coil, we can copy their Worm Coil at least. Should he mage and copy it? I don't know what you mean. Mike Dicka, Mike Dicka, <laughs> the bears, the bears. All right, what do we got? We got one game here for the five out, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. We can't, we can't copy it because of dampening sphere. Yeah, because dampening sphere made it so it cost too much mana. There, Mike Dicka, the bears. I used to love those Saturday Night Live things. Those Saturday Night Live um, with uh, Chris Farley. Stop birth. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, we have some 5 out decisions here. What do we do? Somebody said something intelligent in the chat back a little while ago. Is it Sin for Nature's Claim? No, 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 no. Johnny will not tell you. Better than this. Yeah, I think we're just going to run it back.
Uh, uh, this hand doesn't do it, right? It's just not fast enough. It's pretty disruptive. There's no speed to it. All right, we got a wet ball and a champion here. Absolute heater. Uh, do we want this? Negative. I agree. I think everyone in this chat should listen to... Wow, dude, come on. I think everyone in this... Everyone that's in watching my stream now, they should listen to Collins Mullen and the MTG Grindcast because they talk so much about, like... Mulliganing in modern. This doesn't seem as funny. It is sad. We're just trying some new things out, Jay Huey. All right, so we're going to play this white ball. Um, they talk a lot about mulliganing in modern and mulliganing aggressively. Now I, I think my game I actually should I should become a patron of that podcast purely because I have learned enough. Oh man. They brought in nature's claim. Blister for one. Oh we're so dead. Alright, well I guess we just go champion Just play this champion and then play Thalia. Just hoping they can't like Uganus. No, I should be a Patreon a Patreon of that podcast just because I've learned so much from it. That's what you all should do. Watching the stream, like you all are great. You people that sub to me, you are great, and I appreciate that. But you should listen to these podcasts. These podcasts that, like, have a lot of content that help out these people that do magic for a living, you should support them. Yeah, I mean, that's it's a good hatch, Magic Hero, I think. Worm Dad. Can they cast that? They probably can. Yeah, dude, we are so dead. Both teams played hard. God, we're not going to 5-0. All right, whatever. Let's just um, let's cast this. Maybe they have nothing. We can beat this. I'm not exactly sure. Like we'd have to get running. Um, running Thalia's lieutenants, I think, in order to have a chance. Maybe some reflector mages. They have an Ulamog. We should take this map. Which is some sad shit. Dude, send it. Oh, that's what he's got. All right, take it. Ancient stirrings, all right. Find a land, Urza's Tower, so they're going to Ulamog me next turn. They're going to Ulamog me this turn. Not quite. Meling Mage off the top, maybe? That'd be nice. <clears throat> Alright, they found a map. So I get Sanctum, which gets some Ulamog number two. Meling Mage... Is there any way out? I don't think there is. We get our own Ulamog. We get attack in here. Copy an Ulamog. How much damage is this? This is four, six, seven. They gain six of that back. All right. GG. They got it. Oh my god, it's 11 o'clock. 
is 11 o'clock.